Right, welcome everyone. We're so glad you're joining us. Take a moment and text or call any of your friends that you would love to have watching with you, even if they can't be with you. Let them know we're live here from Falcon Studios, Falcon Recording Studios. And uh, we welcome you. The Mel Brown B3 group is back together again, and we want to keep doing this. And we're excited to be doing it tonight. And tonight is made possible, and we thank greatly the Stoller Family Estates Winery, and uh, they are sponsoring tonight, and uh, Falcon Recording Studios is where we're doing this, and it's uh, Portland's premier studio these days with Pink Martini and Curtis Salgado and Terry Robb and everybody recording here, and Dennis has turned this fabulous facility into a great place to perform, and he's got five cameras, including the Mel Cam, where you'll be seeing above Mel Brown, getting to see his chops at work. So thank you to Dennis, Falcon Recording Studios. We want to also thank John Lee, who is a, a supporter of the band and, and has contributed, and let you know that over the course of our evening, we hope that you'll contribute also if you can, and you feel so inclined, and you can see that the tips, and that's what you're doing, is you're putting money in our tip jar, but in a new way, in the new way, and that is uh, how we pass the offering now. Reverend Payne reminds me uh, that this is our Thursday night service. And uh, you are now entering the Church of Mel Brown, of the Mel Brown B3 Quartet. And when we do pass the hat and the offering plate goes by, you can see that it's www.venmo.com slash King Louis Payne or PayPal me King Louis Payne. So check those out and please. Uh, give until it hurts. So let me introduce our fabulous band that's so glad to be together that we couldn't even wait for it to start. You could see when we started we were already playing because we're glad to see each other. We got a couple of new tunes you probably never heard. What's that? Renato Caranto is with us and he's glad to be here as we all are to be playing. And let me introduce first of all our organist, Louis Payne, giving us his gospel Sunday best. The sound and the soul of the Mel Brown B3 group comes from Renato Caranto. Put your hands together. If J.D. were here, he'd say a man with more soul in his little finger. <laughs> and our fearless leader, we're going to hear from tonight both musically and verbally. He's got some stories to tell. The one and only... Godfather of Portland Jazz, a wonderful man to work for and to know they don't make them like this anymore. Mel Brown, and I'm Dan Balmer on guitar, and we are done with church, 
and we're going to be moving on to tonight's service. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you want to comment or make comments, write them up on the site, and the lovely Tracy Payne will relay us anything we need to know.
Uh, this next song we're going to do is an original tune I wrote recently for my late great band leader, Paul DeLay. And the uh, funny thing about Paul was that he called every male his Bubba. If you were female, you were <laughs> sis, but if you were a guy, you were Bubba. And it was really an ingenious system because that way Paul didn't need to learn any, memorize any names. But he, people always felt like he knew who they were because he just called you Bubba. Anyway, so this is called Blues for Bubba. And uh, another thing about Paul is he would call off a tune. He said, give me a bouncy D, guys. Give me a bouncy D. So this, I, when, I, when I wrote this song, I said, this kind of has a bouncy thing to it. So bouncy D, this is for Paul. And Tracy just uh, gave me a sign that said, we're going to say hello to our fans from all over. We have fans from Pittsburgh and Panama and Italy. And if you know anywhere, please uh, I don't know anyone anywhere. Let people know all over the world. People can be watching with us right now. So I want to say hi to those folks and thank you for joining us. And uh, we hope that uh, you keep spreading the word and keep making this happen. So here's Lewis's new tune. We're going to feature Mel Brown on his brushes.
send them our way. Uh, if they're trying to respond, they can do it here. Thank you for trying to break us in here. And we will do so as soon as possible. All right. What do you think of the guys so far? It's such a pleasure to play with these guys. It's just it's beautiful. And we love trying to play this music for you so that you enjoy yourself. Now, before we get into this next tune, <coughs> I'd like to tell you a little small story about uh, the guy who actually played this tune and made it a hit record. And his name was Junior Walker. And uh, Junior was at Motown, and we used to spend a lot of time together hanging out, but Junior was one of those type of people that loved to play the saxophone all the time, whether he was asked to play or not. He was always playing. And uh, Junior was like a pistol, but he was so much into just playing his horn, they kind of gave him a little nickname of saying Shotgun. So we have a version of <laughs> Junior Walker's tune called Shotgun, and I'll show you how we used to do this.
know that uh, you can contribute uh, Venmo slash King Louis Payne, PayPal me King Louis Payne, and that's going to help us keep doing these events. And so wherever you are in the world, uh, your currency will translate to the uh, King Louis site. So please, uh, if you're enjoying the music and you want to keep it going, keep the band going, um, we hope that you will think about contributing. And again, also anything you can do to spread the word. And we do want to thank again and again Stoller Family Estates Winery. They, they contribute to so many great things, and they stepped right up to help here and uh, help make this possible because there's a lot of the studio is a, you know, this is a studio time is valuable and the time of our engineer and and uh, and visual person mark is 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 their time is valuable and these things don't just come to you for free and so we've had some help with taking care of those guys and also john lee made a generous contribution to the band so let you know that we're happy and we'll be playing and we're super happy that you're watching but we hope if you can you know feel like you're at the gig and you maybe you paid a cover cover charge to Stephen on your way in. And uh, Chris has a shout out to Christos down in Salem. And uh, we've all played there a lot, a wonderful place in Salem. And uh, we uh, shout out to them. There are good friends at Christos and fabulous food. Boy, that's one of those places that when you play there, it's like they treat you great. It's a cool room. You get a great audience there. And uh, but also they always give you a dinner and they got great pizza and pasta. I know I'm speaking for the guys. I know we've all put on a few pounds at Crystal's. <laughs> That's a wonderful place. So thank you to all of them. And uh, thank you to anybody contributing. And But most of all, spread the word. We're here sharing the music. And hopefully, eventually, we'll get back out playing in public and, and we'll have you with us. But so now we're going to have Renato speak about this next tune. Oh, and again, that last tune was a request. And so requests are being honored and we love to have them actually because we got so many tunes and always trying to sort out which ones to play and uh, so please and and also you know you can still continue to buy our music online if you're interested so don't hesitate to do that here's renato all right uh, well uh, a couple of years ago i was playing with uh, merle haggard and uh, i learned a lot about merle haggard and uh, merle loves jazz music he told me one time said renato you know, I hate country music. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I'm sure he's just kidding. But he said country is really good for me. But anyway, my favorite memories with playing with Merle Haggard was the sound check. Because sound check, um, we get to explore uh, j uh, standard jazz. And Merle just keep calling some standard, standard music. So... Uh, and uh, he's basically getting tired to the sound check, the music that we do for sound check. So he talked to me. I said, Renato, why don't you uh, write a song for the band? You know, I'm sick and tired of hearing that. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm going to try it. So uh, I came out with uh, uh, this piece called Blues for Merle. So I uh, hope you guys like it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. You know what it means when you hear that sound. It means Renato and I are going to play this melody. like we're just getting started if we were at the jack london or the old jimmy max or wherever we play and we'd just be getting ready to talk to you a little bit and take a break and hopefully talk to you on the break a little bit and get to communicate a little bit and get a glass of soda water but we're here at the studio and you're at home hopefully you're all keeping safe i know that we're all being very, very careful here and uh, keeping our distance and then masking up whenever we're um, in the smaller rooms together. They're all masked up in the, in the uh, control room. So we've had a great time tonight. We hope you've had a good time. We want to keep doing this. You, we'd love any feedback on what you'd like to see. If you'd like it to be uh, songs you'd like to hear. If you want us to play longer, if, if you want, you know, if it's a good time of night to start, seems like seven o'clock is nice. Um, but give us some feedback, you know, right to the, right to the website, right to Tracy Payne and Lewis, and let us know what we can do to make it even more fun and be wonderful to try and establish like a first Thursday um, here at Falcon. And also for any of you that are corporate or part of corporations or of anybody that would like to sponsor this one is sponsored by Stoller Family Estates Winery and uh, their generosity is is making it possible for everyone and also want to thank our friend John Lee for helping out but if you are with a medical office a law firm an insurance company a real estate company a music company a high-tech company a low-tech company a garbage disposal service appliance repair you could be our next sponsor. And it's surprisingly inexpensive. So we want you to keep that in mind. Don't hesitate to step up and take that sponsorship chair. But again, thanks to Stoller Family Estates uh, for making this happen. But it's a team effort, so everybody, everybody that can chip in, thank you. And we've got our tip information there. If we were at the club, we'd say, it's easy to just put the money over the edge of the tip jar uh, or buy a CD, but now it's this high-tech world. And, but we still feel your love both ways, so thank you. One more time, I want to say thank you on behalf of the band. It's great tonight. We've got a little here, a little bit from all of them. I'm sure that's fun for everyone, and it, uh, it's fun for me to hear the other guys talk instead of me, so we hope you enjoyed that. So. Let me introduce one more time on the Hammond organ, the uncrowned king, Mr. Lewis Payne. I think I can hear you applauding. On the tenor saxophone, Renato is what's known as a practicer. So like every time you hear him, he's like got some new things and he's a little better. So uh, boy, he's the top of his game. Always. On the drums, the one and only Mel Brown. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, without whom we would not be here. 
And of course, thank you to the other parts of our team. Dennis behind the console, doing running the studio, owning the studio, and it's uh, and doing such a great job with the sound. Every time I do one of these, uh, people go, "Oh man, that sound was awesome." Where is it? I go, "Of course it's awesome. It's at the premier recording studio. It's, you know, that's I, I go. These every one of these could be a record." Dennis is a great engineer and got a great space here. It's, this is as good as it gets. This is not an iPhone in front of the band. No disrespect. Uh, Mark doing the visuals. Visuals, thank you. And a person who does an incredible amount of work behind the scenes, Tracy Payne. Uh, and really, uh, I often don't know what, what what would happen if she wasn't involved. So thank you, Tracy. And anybody who's got a thank you to shout out to Tracy, please do because you know you see us doing the playing and making the music and having the fun up here, but she spends a lot, a lot of time kind of thinking about how to do this and, and doing the nuts and bolts, and as well as all our social media, which is pretty pretty high level for a jazz group. So uh, thank you, Tracy. And so we're going to get on out of here, but we'll do this again. And you know how to contact any of us, any of our friends, or through the website. Let us know what you thought and what we can do to make it better. We're open to any feedback, tunes you want to hear, you know, a tip for a tune, whatever you can think of. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to miss you until we see you again, and I hope that's soon because we love getting together and playing, but we can't just do it for our health. <laughs> <laughs>